things of life. What are you talking about? In my day, can you beat off that train? In my day, we was able to keep certain things in the proper perspective. Take <laughs> keeping company, for instance. Your mother and all, when me was going around together, it was two whole years. We never, I, I mean, there was nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing, not till the wedding night. Yeah, and even then. <laughs> Talk on the Sabbath, Mike. 
before I even begin to make a living. Seems like forever. Well, let me tell you, sonny boy, the same thought crosses my mind at least once a day. <laughs> Gloria, you married the laziest white man I ever seen. Uh, all right, it's, it's, it's bad enough you gotta make fun of me. You don't have to make it worse by attacking a whole race. Who's attacking a whole race? You are. You just said I was the laziest white man you ever met. What's the matter with that? White man you ever met? Yeah, you. Implying that the blacks are even lazy. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hey, you said that, not me. I never said your black beauties was lazy. Because <laughs> the systems is geared a little slower than the rest of us. <laughs> you don't believe me? Look it up. There's no hope for him. No hope at all. I'm not prejudiced. Any man deserves my respect. He's going to get it regardless of his color. Well, what do you call names like black beauties for? Now, that's where I got you, Mr. Liberty. Because there's a black guy that works down the building with me, and he's got a bumper or sticker on his car that says black is beautiful, right? Huh? So what's the matter with black beauty? <laughs>
Dad, I'm a Polak. You sure are. You're a Polak joke. <laughs> I, I don't mind, though. I'm Polish. I don't mind. I'm proud of it. Now, there you are, Mr. Bunker. Now, you ought to be proud you're Jewish. But I ain't Jewish. <laughs> I didn't know you was Jewish. What the hell are you doing? It's not like you wrote the thing. No, I didn't. 